art is just this conduit that we use to inspire each other around the planet um, or as human beings to either fall in love or to create a business or to get in shape or to to do anything. The paint splatter floors begin to tell the story of the art created in the space curated by Ansley Burroughs and his better half L'Oreal Noel. Burroughs has been painting since 2009, a much needed outlet to express who he truly is. The artist and the art we create is kind of the childlike wonder that's in everybody and over growing up like a lot of people lose that. He's one of the many artists whose work will be on display during Artscape at the B23 art exhibit. On a surface level, I'm hoping somebody sees something that's reflected in themselves, they feel a connection. At a deeper level, I hope somebody sees something different or unconventional that establishes a different pathway in their brain. So now they, they found a new way to think about themselves and the world. With each stroke of the brush, he hopes to create a connection with every eye. To have that many people come to Baltimore um, to see and possibly see my work, it's amazing um, because I never did art to like do shows. I just did it because I wanted to do it. And to be in this position is, um, I'm very grateful. The couple transformed a former corner store in Greenmount into their art haven and is the safe space both creatives need it. We actually work really well together because yeah. we both have, um, you know, our creative minds and we both have business minds, mm. you know? And so we really feed off of each other. That's a big part of not just um, business and art, but probably a big part of our attraction to each other. Yeah. <laughs> the Jamaican-born artist got his start in Brooklyn, New York but has been in a love affair with Charm City, he says, since the late 90s, making a point to learn the rich history of the often misunderstood Baltimore. So this painting is called The Red Line. And sharing his interpretation of the complexities of the city. It's kind of just like how visceral um, that history of Baltimore is and how, like, it's, it takes a lot of protection. And this, these nails are from an African Orisha called Ogun, which is kind of a protection to um, protect the community. And you have to imagine like to survive redlining, like you have to have some serious protection around you, like cause the history of, um, it's, just, it's just a heavy history. In Greenmount, Megan Rivers, WBAL TV 11 News.